somebody special behind your corner and all around you, and that's God. Period. 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 Every step of the way, when you fall and you have your shortcomings, he's right there. When you have your victories, he's right there. Give yourself grace. Give yourself time to grow and appreciate it because he's growing with you. Every individual out here is experiencing a human life, a human experience, and God is experiencing it with you. So when you go through things, he's going with it. He's right there with you. He's talking to you. All you got to do is talk back. I walk on the beach every day, and I'm talking to God. I'm just talking. Like he the homie. I swear to God, I put that on my grandmama grave. I talk to him next to me. Like the homie. Just like the people that you grow up with, you, I don't care if you got a curse, you, you got a cuss, you, got, you talk to him as if you know him since you was born, the way he knows you. Mm. All right, so yeah. if you remember, <laughs> a couple years ago we did a topic about Kendrick and um, his association with Eckhart Tolle, mm -hmm. and to sum it up, the idea, the the Miss Morale and the Big Steppers had was laced with his theology, I guess, which is essentially that we are all capable of being saviors like jesus like if you saw kendrick wear the crown it was because they believed that everybody jesus was an example of somebody who ascended to the level of sa saviors christ you know, consciousness christ consciousness right yeah. and anybody else can too right it's like anybody could kind of achieve that whatever it's nonsense so what do you think he's saying here is it possible is it a turn that something is changing or is he masking his true <laughs> beliefs seriously like is this is this just I don't know it, I can, can you tell the difference between is is this a change in his beliefs or is this just a different way to say it that sounds palatable to a large audience I think it's a buffet man I think mm -hmm. I think um, a lot of people I think he's spiritual I think you I could take from with Eckhart I could take from the Bible because even in um, not like us he says um, what do he say on that about the Bible he's like we hide the Bible if if God is looking and oh, I hide the Bible, you know what I mean? Now God's not watching. So it's just like, I think he's spiritual, bro. I think, a, But I think a lot of people are spiritual in the entertainment business. They, they, And when I mean spiritual, I mean a buffet of religions all together that like, okay, I like this about Christianity. I like this about Islam. I like this about Hebrew Israelites. Because, I mean, if we look at his palette of music, we talked about this before in that video that when you look at Good Kid, Mad City and Section 80, he's he's talking about god and jesus mm -hmm. then you go to um to pimp a butterfly it's more of a it's still there because um it's still talking about god and stuff but then when you go to dang it's talking about black hebrew israelites and then you go to the big steppers then he's talking about what you just said so i think he's just spiritual bro but i think the question goes if he's talking to god what god is he talking to that was my question mm. yeah that's what's going up in the chat vc said the bible calls the devil the god of this world Second Corinthians four four, just saying. Um, and then yeah. Timmy Digital says something interesting. Until people start preaching Jesus, I don't assume that the God they speak yes. of is the truth. I do the right. same thing. The God of the Bible. I do the same thing. Yeah, but do you really believe? Okay, if the, what they're saying is true, do you think he thinks he's talking to the God of this world, or do you think he thinks he's talking to God? I think. <laughs> it, it's I don't know when I was watching the video I was like okay this cup two things that were going through my mind is he putting on for this crowd right is he putting on for this crowd because it's supposed to be a know, college he graduation so yeah, he, he didn't have to passion. say yeah, that. yeah but it's also yeah. everybody speaks passionately when they're giving the um commencement address right or they're nah, they're ta they're encouraging you it's encouraging but like it's you're going to the next level of your life. It kind of yeah, did. It, it did. It it's does. like when you're going through you, hard times, yeah. remember you know God is on your side. He's looking at you. He's I just, got it you. just didn't got seem you. like he had to talk about that. You know what I mean? I mean, but he chose to. So I don't think he was the keynote speaker because he wasn't dressed I think he was like a the surprise, keynote speaker. Yeah. He was a surprise, maybe. Um, but he's encouraging his community, right? So I felt like he was just kind of doing that and he kind of walked into that. Now, I, I'll say this too. Um, we, live in a, we live in a country where 
God is okay, but Jesus is not. Mm-hmm. And so, so, so if he would have said, G- oh, I talked yeah. to Jesus, oh, yeah. that would have that would have swayed you. That would have no, it would have it would have it would have intrigued me when it swayed me because Kanye messed that up. It's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> done. 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 Um, but it would have intrigued me. But what I'm what I'm saying is, if if you say Jesus, then I know you're talking about my personal Lord and Savior, and you yeah. and you are acknowledging that as well. But when you say God, you could be talking about that stick over there on the ground. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm cautious so about that. Here's now. a question. Let's say he is talking about the God of the Bible, right? Yeah, yeah. Does it matter how you talk to him? So you're saying the whole cursing oh, thing. Yeah. Cursing, anger. Because, I, I mean, in essence, yeah. I'm going to go like to David. David was, like, mad at God. Yeah, yeah. But we don't know. He didn't curse at God. But I'm just saying, like, yeah. But I guess the question is, is there a specific way to talk to God? I think, I think what the essence of what he's saying is not wrong. You should be, like... You should be honest with God. Like, if you really don't understand something, say you don't understand it. Don't be like, oh, God, I'll, you know, if you don't really mean do your will, don't say that yeah. right. until you mean it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can be honest, like say honest things. But I think the rub a lot of people are having is, but it's still God. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you still yeah, need to be respectful. There. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. Yeah. Still, oh, he still could crush you with a with an eyelash. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he is still, like, yeah. awesome, you know? Yeah. So I, I would still have, like, some sort of reverence, but... He loves you enough for you to be able to tell him the truth. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. God, I really don't get why you're doing this. I exactly. really don't know what to do now. Yeah, yeah. I really don't understand why you let her do that. Yeah. You could say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With, with Kendrick, I think, and I'm careful because, you know, nobody knows the heart of man. Like, he just broke down the whole synopsis of how he just went through different belief systems at different times. So who knows where his heart is at right now trying to gain understanding or whatnot. Mm-hmm. But just based off of what he said. You go say God is everywhere with you. You cuss and then you say I swear to God. Yeah. Every mm-hmm. time we see you, dang near when you ain't wearing the funny hat at the commencement, you got a crown of thorns on your head. Wherever your heart is, you I just say this: you don't have a true understanding about who God is for yeah. real, mm-hmm. and you don't have a true understanding about who Christ is. So my prayer for you is that on your journey that you find out who Jesus really is for real, and, and you honor Him the way you should, because it seems like you have a form of godliness. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you say know, that. You got a form of godliness, yeah. but you're not quite on track, you know. So, because he, yeah. here's what yeah. what if if let's say he actually did something happen and and you you he became a Christian and I would expect somebody who recently changed his heart and became a Christian mm-hmm. to be like at some point address the fact that I was lying to y'all before. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, you can't just, about what? you can't put out the stuff he put out on on the Steppers album. And get saved and then never come back and say, please ignore everything I said on that. I was tripping. That guy got in my head. I oh, didn't no. mean none of that. You cannot be Christ but, consciousness. Mm. Jesus is God. But, you, you know what I mean, he's separate than us, you know? Yeah, but I think that goes back to therapy because that whole format of that album is based off therapy and what people tell you in therapy on yeah. how to overcome stuff and how to, yeah. you got to reach this consciousness. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. he's probably thinking to himself like, Yes, I can be have Christ consciousness so I can be a better person in my life. Yeah. Not knowing about the power of the Holy Spirit, not knowing about what the scripture talks about, like putting in your heart and having mm-hmm. denying yourself. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I think at the same time, he's looking at that as not as this is a religious experience. He's looking at it as this helped me. So I'm trying to help people to tell them to go to therapy. Because I remember when we did that video and somebody responded and they're like, see, these Christians don't like therapy and all the things. We was like, no, we don't we don't mind therapy. You just got to get the right therapist <laughs> that part. And, and know where they're guiding you. But I, I think that's what he would probably say. Like that helped mm-hmm. me become a better man or a better where I was yeah. at that time You know what I yeah. mean Right mm-hmm. But uh, I think that would be A natural progression Like yeah. you're saying I said that That's what I thought But let me tell you About Jesus mm-hmm. I, yeah. I think it would be A natural progression To come back And speak the gospel And yeah. correct yeah. it With the gospel Facts So real quick um, We have a poll And you gotta get out of here soon Oh I sure do You do, <laughs> you do. <laughs> Shania tell them Tell them about yourself Real quick And tell them what, you, what you're Working on I think it's awesome Hey guys, my name is Shania Longley. I'm a young evangelist out here. Just graduated from an evangelism um, cohort called Pulse 100. Mm. Um, super dope. Just came back from Minneapolis. Um, so yeah, I'm just pursuing the things of God. Young filmmaker as well and screenwriter. Mm. Um, God is just doing some really, really, really great things. You guys should follow me, The Natural Minded Soul on IG. I think on everything. Oh. But yeah, I'm just trying to be the hands and feet of Jesus out here. Yeah, and she's she's actually officially on the team now. So yeah. so give show her love, support her. Yeah. She's about to go to a, a screenwriting 
program or mm-hmm. something like that. So uh, we got to make sure she gets there on time. But yeah, thank you for hanging out Good with stuff. us. We'll see her yeah. more thank often. you. Thank you for we'll having me. Yeah. Happy to be part of the team. Um, yeah, so we, there's a poll. Mm-hmm. Do you think Kendrick's beliefs in God have changed? Um, 7% said yes, 22% said no. 33% said he's confused. 38% said he's not religious. He's spiritual. I tell you what I caution that against, right? I had a, f- I had a friend tell me, like, I'm good with God, but I don't really care to have a relationship with Jesus. Mm-hmm. And I was like, ooh, that that to me is like, okay, well. And I and I had to break the news to him. It was like, well, you know. <laughs> 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 the only way to the Father is through the Son. Yeah. And he didn't understand that, of course. But I stopped I stopped thinking that people knew. Um, I stopped people that I stopped thinking at that moment that people relate God and Jesus together. Mm-hmm. And so when they say God separate, we got to have a further conversation yeah, for me to understand. Let, where, tell me more. Who, 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 that, do you yeah. talk, who are you talking about? Mm-hmm. 